the sun is set free, is truly free indeed. Welcome to Walk no, Free, a media ministry outreach program of the Errol Ratchet Evangelistic Association, aired each Thursday at 9 p.m. with a repeat broadcast on Tuesday at 9 a.m. This program is geared towards the spiritual encouragement and inspiration of all peoples, regardless of the challenges faced daily. As we interact with you on a personal level in the comfort of your home or wherever you may be, we invite you to prepare your heart and mind for a life-changing experience because whom the sun set free is free indeed. Now stay tuned for today's program. My shackles are broken. Good morning. Good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of the day this program gets to you. I want to, from Kingston, Jamaica, from the Aerial Rattery Evangelistic Association, wish you and your family a peaceful day and that with all that is happening now well today, the concern about the coronavirus, the concern that the number of persons that are contracting it in certain places and especially in America, over an almost half, did I say almost five million persons have now contracted this virus and oh, so many have died. In Jamaica, we are now over a thousand. Oh, two months ago, we were just about 550. Now we're over a thousand and going. And there's a concern, people are saying, uh, election is in the year. Can we have election while um, there is this coronavirus? And how are we going to do it? Um, Trinidad have just had their election in this period. And uh, persons are saying, what is more important? Why, if there is up to next year that the government can call election? Says some people, why call election when you have more time yet to call it. Some people are asking the question, um, during this period, if if it does happen and persons contract the disease and some people die, who are you going to hold responsible? The call of the election are those who die. Well, having said that, I want to just um, read a, a passage out of St. John in chapter 3. And it says like this from verse 14, And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God, the most known verse in the Bible across the world, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but at everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. Because he that believe in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds are evil. For everyone that doeth evil hated the light, neither come into the light, lest his deeds shall be covered or reproved. But he that doeth truth come into the light, that his deed may be made manifest that are wrought in God. Let me read this. But he that doeth truth come into the light, that his deed may be made manifest, that be made known, that they were are wrought in God. And so it's against that background that I ask you to read this passage again. Take special note of St. John 3, verse 16. And if you have already committed your life to Christ, I ask you to share this Christ to somebody else, a family member, a friend, a neighbor in these COVID-19 times. If you have not yet committed your life to Christ, I would want to recommend that you during this COVID period, even today, 
make a decision to follow Christ. And if you once walk with him, and for some circumstance, some circumstances, some reason or reasons, you drifted from the faith. I am your brother. And so I want to ask you to come back home. I ask you to ask the good Lord to forgive you like the prodigal son. And he certainly will receive you. Today's message is coming out of the Mambi Power Baptist Church where I shared about that loving father. Yes, that's what I did. And uh, I'm going to ask you to call a friend, call a family member, call a neighbor and let them know that Walk Free is on the air. And uh, after the message, I'll be praying for you. I'll be praying for your family. I'll be praying for not just Jamaica, but the nations, because we are in problem. The song that is going to come to you will be sung by one of Jamaica top gospel singer, his name Edwin Myers. You'll be singing all over the world is problem. Stay tuned and be blessed. Problem here, problems here, problem everywhere. Oh yeah. All over the world is problem, just problem. No problem, if only Jesus alone can solve them For he is the man with the plan For every day his troubles increasing Men are failing, people are dying So let us seek the great physician For he is the man with the plan For if we want to build a better nation He can change the whole situation And if you need your soul salvation just come to the man with the plan. The looting and the shooting won't help us. It won't help us. It won't help us. So put away your weapons and come to the Lord. For he is the man with the plan. And I know my God will never leave you. I grieve you, neither forsake you. For every little heart he'll understand. For he is the man with the plan. You don't have to rob and you don't have to steal. He will provide our daily meal. Only take him at his words. For I know my God is real. All over the world is problem. Just problem, no problem. He know me Jesus alone can solve them. For he is the man with the plan. And you don't have to steal He will provide our daily meal Only take him at his words For I know my God is real All over the world is problem Just problem, no problem And only Jesus alone can solve them For he is the man with the plan For every day his troubles increasing Men are failing, people are dying so let us seek the great physician, for he is the man with the plan. For if we want to build a better nation, he can change the whole situation. And if you need your soul salvation, just come to the man with the plan. All over the world is problem, just problem, no problem. And only Jesus alone can solve them, for he is the man with the plan. All over the world is problem, just problem, no problem. It only Jesus alone can solve them, for he is the man with the plan. All over the world is problem, just problem, no problem. It only Jesus alone can solve them, for he is the man with the plan. All over the world is problem. Just problem, no problem. It only Jesus alone can solve them, for he is the man. That's what the father in the story did. He decided, now that he have come back, son, hear what the son said. Make me just one of your hired servant. In a sense, what he said, I know that I messed up and I did wrong. 
So I'm not coming back to get the same treatment like oh before I left. All I want is for you to be of me as an hired servant. The father said, No, you are my son. You're better than that. You're bigger than that. And so he embraced him. And to show him how much he loved him, he killed the fatted calf and have a big party. Another day I told you, I will tell you about the elder son. Because when the elder son come and see party, and say, me there with you. For those of you who don't understand my patois, I have been with you for so long, you never kill a calf and give me. And this little worthless boy, go away and mash up in life, and you have a big party for it. You understand that? Do you understand that? That was love, man. That was love. And uh, today, I hear us a little song that says, It took a miracle to put the stars in space. But when He saved my soul, cleansed and made me whole, it was a miracle of love and grace. Mean for Him to decide to come down and make possibility for me to be a part of the family we have to shout a shout of praise we have to shout a hallelujah can somebody shout a hallelujah in the house somebody give God thanks for his love he loves us so much that he allow his son to die his only son that we can have that which makes life better I close. I close this message today with the word of our national anthem. Eternal Father, not just bless our land, but bless all the fathers in our land. Guard us with thy mighty hand. Guide them with their, your mighty hand. Keep them free from evil power. Be their light to countless hour. To our fathers, grant true wisdom from above. Give them justice, truth, forever. And Lord, teach our father respect for all. Strengthen them. Those who are weak, give to our fathers vision, lest they perish. Give them knowledge, grant wisdom from above. This day, if you're a father in the house, or you're a father out there, your mother, or whoever you are, there is a father up above. Says the song who is looking down with heavenly love and today is that father that I invite us to remember that if you have not yet come into a relationship with that father that today you can come into a relationship the one that loves you you can give your life to him and on this day I want to after I've prayed for the fathers of our land, one of the things I'm going to do is to give to every father in the house and every man, every male that is in the house, I'm going to give you a copy of the New Testament Bible. And I'm going to give you a very special, what I call, marker. It is with the national anthem. It is with the national pledge. And uh, because all of you have come to church today, I'm going to give each of you who have a father. So although you might not be a father, we could not have come into the world without a father. And so I want to give each of you one of these 
And uh, if you already have a New Testament, because the New Testament, this which I give you with Psalms and Proverbs, have some things when you're anxious, when you are fearful, when you think that all is lost in times of sorrow, it has some words in it how to encourage you. And it have words in which to uplift your spirit and to live only. And I want to give each person one of these this day. And after the service, I have brought a special little thing for all the fathers. I won't give it in the service. I'll give that after the service. But I'll give all of you who are here this morning one of this. So, um, Richard, you see that bag there? I'm going to. Last year I was in Montego Bay where I preached in the Father's Day service. And in the Father's Day service, they gave every father a special little token. Give them a special token. But before I do that, I want to pray a prayer over the fathers in this room. So if you are a father in this room, just stand where you are as I pray over you. If you are a father, just stand right where you are. I want to pray for the fathers in the room. I want you ladies and the rest of us, just point to them. And Father, we pray that you will bless our fathers. They are represented in many different fathers across the world. I pray for their families. I pray, God, that you will always provide for them and you will protect them. For those who are watching by Facebook Live or whatever other technology, I pray for every father across this nation and across the world. Sometimes, God, they are tested during those times of testing and temptation, be there for them, I pray. And Father, I pray for their families, that their families will be blessed by you. And Lord, we just give you praise and earn thanks. In your name, I pray. Can somebody say amen? Can somebody say amen? And then I want to pray for the rest of us. Some of us, our father are dead. My father died. But he left us a strong legacy. In memory. And some of us, all of us were here. All of us. Even if you don't know your father, your father did not help. But the Bible have a little instruction on a father and mother. Sometimes it's a mother that plays a father role in your life. So I'm going to ask all of us to stand. As I pray over your father, as I pray over your family, as I pray that when you, young men, get married and you become fathers, you will be good fathers. So I ask every person in the room just to stand right where you are. Will you? A stand. So Father, we lift up all persons in this place. Lord, we thank you that you are the one who give us families. And so we ask your blessing on each family gathered here. We thank you, God, for fathers who might have died, but they, they have left a legacy. Some fathers, God, have been absent fathers and have not been there. But Father, you have become our heavenly Father. And as you are our heavenly Father, you will provide for us and you protect us. So today I give you the peace, the joy, the happiness that God gives to families. And I pray over your health, over your finances. I pray over your relationships. And I pray that the God of grace, the God of peace, will always be with you this day and forevermore. And the church says, and the church says, 
And so we want to give God thanks. Our Heavenly Father. Who loves us. Who is accommodating. And sometimes allow us to do what we want to do. Not true. But he's always there to say. I love you my child. And so God bless you. God keep you. Alright so I want to give each person one of this. And then we are going to sing. So we do it by social distance wise. So the men first. The fathers first. Come here. Come here daughter. Come here. Um, I, want, I want Stephanie. Uh, representing children. To give out these. Alright. And you can put them together. They're in this. They're in this. Alright. So we're going to give each of them the, one of this. You know, and one of that. So set that up. Uh, come here. Come this way. Come this way. Um, Steph. She's going to be Alright. So the father's in the house. This is your special. You are going to get one of this. And one of this. And so just come for your, your New Testament. And uh, your marker. With the um, thing. So, what we're going to play, Kevin, while them, then come for it. All right, so, all right, come for it. The fathers first. Yeah. And if you have one over there, you can give it to somebody who is special. Lord, we want to give you thanks for the word that was shared. And Lord, right now I pray for each person who listened, watch this program. Lord, I'm praying for those who would have said yes to you. I pray for those who have decided to recommit their lives to you. And I pray for the Christians, that they will be so charged up that they will share you with others. We thank you for the kind of father you are, a loving father. Lord, we pray for the nations of the world. Uh, Lord, right now they are struggling because of this coronavirus. Uh, a cure has not yet been found, although it is touted that it is in the making. We thank you, God, that you are our medicine. And we can seep on you. We can depend upon you. And so I pray for every person who right now is watching this program and is sick in body. I pray over their bodies and I pray for you healing. I pray, Lord, for those who are going through financial difficulties. I ask you, Lord, that you'll open a door, a financial door. Oh, God, that they will not be financially embarrassed. And I pray for persons who are having family problems and relationship problems. And God, we seek your intervention at this time. I ask you to bring hope in what seemed to be a hopeless situation. And Lord, we pray for Jamaica, especially the land from which we are coming. And Lord, even as there is election in the air, we pray for good sense. And Lord, we pray for our understanding for one another. And as we pray, we pray that your will be done. Whoever it is you are going to raise up as the one to guide this country, we say, God, let it be. And we pray, God, not only that your will be done, but we pray this hurricane season, we are now June, July, August, three months. We have September, October, November. And within these three months, we have not had any hurricane. And Lord, for the rest of the month, we are asking you, Lord, if you could hold your hands and be kind to us. And so we commit the nations of the world to you. We pray for those who have not yet committed their lives to you. And we pray for salvation across the world. 
And again, we give you praise and honor. We thank you for the reminder in John 3.16 that God so loved this world that he gave his only son that whosoever believed it should not perish but have everlasting life. That's our prayer that people will have and get everlasting life. I pray this in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, and the name of the Blessed Holy Spirit. Amen. Just a quick notice. Every first Monday, we have a time of friend, Kingston, from 12, 15 to 1, 15. It's at the Mambi Park. Mambi Park. That's every first Monday. Every first Wednesday, we have a time of prayer and fasting from 1030 to 2 in Maypen. And uh, the next one will be at the Maypen Open Bible Church. That's next month. And then every second Wednesday, we are in Montego Bay, where we have a prayer and fasting between the hours of 10.30 to 2 o'clock. And uh, we ask you to join us. Keep tuned. And just remind you that the last Thursday in October will be the gathering of the evangelists. The big gathering where we are bringing all the evangelists from across Jamaica. As we seek to see where our evangelists are, as we seem to network, and as we seem to launch out in 2021, and to take this country, parish by parish, as we will declare Christ. As we will declare Christ, not just in the capitals, but in the, in the um, areas and different town square. God bless you. And be reminded, who the Son has set free is free indeed. So this week, walk free and help some other person to walk free. Thank you for watching today's program. We believe that God has spoken to you. Today, if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. We urge you to make a decision to accept Jesus Christ as your Savior. You can do this by following the ABC plan of salvation. A, B, C. Admit that you are a sinner in need of salvation. Believe that Jesus died for your sins and received his gift of forgiveness. Confess your sins and your faith in Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord. Then tell someone of your decision. We would be pleased to hear from you if you have made this awesome decision. Should you need prayer or counseling, let us know. We invite you to contact us via phone call, text, or social media using the information displayed on screen. Until next time.